What's going on, everybody? It's Endless One Up. You know what time it is. But do you hear off in the distance, there's a dork saying, What's on deck? That's right, it's me. I'm the dork. So, this game is called Remember Me. It came out in 2013. Uh, it has a really cool art style to it. It's kind of like a cyberpunk vibe. It is Steam Deck verified or playable, it says. Some of the text it says might be small. We don't care about that. But let's dock it up, check it out, and get to it. Let's go ahead and go into the settings here. Let's get me off the screen while we're messing around with the settings. So I started a game, and we're going to continue with that game. But let's check out the options. Video settings. This freaking... So it, see how it's like 1280 by 800? That's actually the default resolution of the Steam Deck. But see how there's black bars on my screen? If I change this resolution to 720, it will fill the screen. So we're going to confirm that for now. V-Sync we're going to turn off. I turn this crap off all the time. Super sampling we're not going to bother with. And a lady... <laughs> what was I just about to say? Okay, we're not talking about anything that has to do with anal, but anti aceling uh, Graphics quality, we're going to leave all this stuff as the default there. The only thing I changed was just the resolution because I wanted it to sit and fill up the screen. Well, geez, can't anybody help you? Oh, man. We'll get there sooner or later. I know we will. Can we skip that? Why am I just walking ahead so freely? Oh man, look at this guy. He's gonna get flushed. First he gets his stuff sucked out. And then he gets flushed like a bad egg. <laughs> yeah, slip out underneath that door. Oh, that seems super dangerous and scary. What if that shut on you? Oh, there's a sensor. It's just like an elevator. <laughs> For 2013, these graphics look pretty darn good. Look at you, Capcom. Can, can I just jump in the suit? That'd be sweet. Give me this suit. I want to get in the suit. That's poop. Poop suit. pretty cool but we better run for our life right now so this is the first action se sequence we're <clears throat> this is the first action sequence we're seeing in the game now and we're still getting 60 frames per second and the game looks pretty darn good I mean I get that this is kind of like a restricted movement kind of scene and it's more of a cut scene but I am moving the character I was like controlling them Pretty impressed with this. I would say this is a great on deck game. Alright, so we're finally into the action. I can like move freely and not bound to some kind of weird rail. I mean, we still have the intro coming in, but that's okay. You're almost there. Slide into a casket. Quickly. Hey, why not? Spooky. Off we go. All right, we better dodge. I don't want to fight you. Duck, dodge, and dive. That's what they say. So now we're like into the actual action of the game here. What do I have for attacks here? So this is pretty interesting. There's like a nice little combo system built into the game, looks like. 
The movement's pretty fluid, and we're still getting a solid 60 frames per second. Like, this is kicking butt. I mean, we got a little bit of a frame bump right there. You can see that loading when it cut to this cutscene. Lady, why you gotta beat those people up? They already had a hard enough life. Jeez. Alright, let's bring me up the full screen. We get the idea here. So that's Remember Me, a kind of a cyberpunk futuristic game. Uh, it plays great. You know, as Steam said, it's a great on deck game. I have to agree with them. If you like this kind of game, go check it out. And hey, I appreciate you coming by. Hit that like button. Think about subscribing if you haven't before. And I'll see you down in the comments. Peace.